I mean, he, he is Obi-Wan. Uh, so please help me welcome to the stage the last guest speaker, Hayden Christensen! turnout for you my friend um, it's 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 really an honor uh, for me to get to be here and and say a few words about my friend Ewan McGregor um, and I'm gonna talk about you like you're not just standing okay. right next to me but uh, um, Ewan McGregor is one of our great actors uh, and in my opinion the coolest person on the planet um, I've always had a tremendous amount of, of respect for Ewan's work uh, right from the the early days of his career I remember watching train spotting for the first time and just being completely blown away by your work man um, he just leaps off the screen you know his, his fearlessness and his mastery of craft were undeniable and I remember thinking to myself that that this was the type of work that I wanted to be able to do as an actor um, since then his career has been storied his his body of work prolific uh, a part of so many great films playing so many great characters and it's it's why he continues to be regarded as one of our most uh, admired and respected actors yeah But when I think about Ewan, I think about the person that he is. And a lot of stories come to mind, but, but uh, I often think about the first time that I met you. And uh, we were both in Australia uh, many moons ago, getting ready to, to do Star Wars Episode Two, And I was at the, the studio where we were going to be filming, and, and the producer was taking me around, showing me some things. And then he was going to go take me to meet Ewan for the first time. And, you know, I was so excited. I, you know, I was already such a huge fan of his. And uh, so anyways, I, I walk into this room where I'm told Ewan's going to be. And before I can even put eyes on him, I hear his voice. And he exclaims my name with, with more enthusiasm than I think I'd ever heard it spoken with before. <laughs> And I turn and I see him, and then he, he's coming at me, and he comes and just gives me the biggest hug, like, like just the most disarmingly warm embrace. And, and we start chatting, and he's just the nicest person, you know. Uh, he, he's telling me how excited he is to be working together and how much fun we're going to have doing our lightsaber training, and he's, he's just beyond kind to me. And it was uh, immediately apparent to me that I was meeting someone truly special, uh, and not just as an actor, but as a person, and that I was, I was meeting a friend. Um, a friend who would later go on to chop off both of my legs for dead on the side of a volcano, but I guess I, I kind of had that coming. But I do want to uh, just, just talk for a moment uh, about Ewan's work in Star Wars and his iconic performance as Obi-Wan Kenobi. It really is uh, just a master class in great acting. And, and to watch him embody this character, it's like watching magic, you know, and, and the best kind of magic. You know, not the kind that involves any like trickery or sleight of hand, but the kind that really makes you believe in something bigger. Because he wasn't just playing Obi-Wan, he was Obi-Wan. I mean, he, he is Obi-Wan. Uh, and I, I really hope we get more Obi-Wan because this man is just Star Wars gold. But, you know, he just, he, he so perfectly brought all of the sort of qualities that we knew about the character while imbuing uh, the role with his own depth and emotion and thus creating something that was bigger than the sum of its parts. 
and it was just a remarkable feat, and I was, I was just in awe the entire time. Um, so, my friend Ewan, I want to thank you for being the best Jedi Master that anyone could have ever hoped for. And, and you always had my back, and I thank you for that. And uh, I'm just so happy to get to be here with you right yeah. now. And, and it, it's been an honor and a thrill to get to work with you and, and swing a lightsaber with you. And more than all of it, call you my friend. Yeah. I love you, brother. I love you, too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, goodness me, it's, uh, it's impossible to follow these two intros, but I'll try my very best. I just want to thank, um, I want to thank everybody, all of you for coming today. I had absolutely no idea what it would, um, what it would feel like or what it would mean, but it, it's meaning a great deal and it feels very, very nice and very, uh, yeah, feel uh, very touched by the whole um, Thing. I'm so moved that I'm close to my old friend Carrie Fisher on the, on, the, uh, on the pavement here. That means a great deal to me too. So should, I, I wanted to firstly um, thank... I, I played Iago once in Othello, which is the biggest role that Shakespeare ever wrote, and I could not remember this name. So I want to thank the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce's Walk of Fame Selection Committee... First of all, for making this happen, I want to thank um, Paramount Plus and uh, Disney and Lucasfilm for sponsoring the event. I don't know exactly what that entails or what they did, but I'm really glad that they did it. And I wanted to say thank you very much for doing it. Come on, son. Here we go. Um, yeah, all my t uh, team at UTA, Rich Klubeck. Jonathan, Caroline, Larry, Samstone. Um, uh, there's so many people uh, to thank. Megan, Tori, thank you so much for everything. Liz Hemelstein. I've been working with Liz on my American accents, on every American accent I've done since I Love You, Philip Morris, I think, which is a long time. She's an amazing talent, really amazing. I wanted to do this all my life. Since I was just a little boy, I wanted to be an actor. And um, I've, I, I feel like that's what I was meant to do. And um, I'm, such, I'm so blessed to be able to do it. I'm so blessed to be able to live a creative life. Um, because, every, because every day I get to work, I turn up, and I get, to, I get to create stories with all these amazingly creative people. Oh, oh, I didn't thank you, Mike and Hayden, these, these creative people. Thank you so much for your beautiful words. Uh, Mike Mills is the actor's director. There's no greater experience than being an actor in his, on your set because you, you let us free, and uh, it's the most beautiful experience. And Hayden, it's, you're my brother, and uh, uh, we've grown up... We've grown up in this uh, crazy world together over these last however many years it's been. Too, too many, 20, 30 years. And uh, I love you so much. Uh, but I get to come to work in the morning and I've, I, I work with the most amazing creative people. Makeup artists and costume uh, designers and uh, cinematographers and directors and producers and uh, props people. And we all come together and we exercise our creativity as a group to make something that's, that's capable of changing the world, you know? That we, we make something that makes people feel and uh, makes people think and therefore can make people change. And um, I think that is the most amazing privilege to do that. And um, I, I love it very much. I, I was very lucky to work with my daughter, Clara, here on a movie. <laughs> A movie called Bleeding Love. I had a better title before, but um, some less creative people changed it. <laughs> <laughs> to Bleeding Love. Anyway, what a privilege. I got to play uh, Clara's dad and be Clara's dad at the same time. It was an amazing thing. And we made this movie that was super personal for us and to us. 
and we put it out there in the world and I'm sure a lot of people are moved by it and touched by it and that was an amazing experience. Um, I worked with my other daughter Esther who I just was visiting in uh, Halifax in Nova Scotia. She's making a series up there and I was on set and re-inspired by watching her passion and enthusiasm for this thing that we do and her young cast that were around her and I came away feeling filled up by it and, and, and wanting more of it myself. I was really lucky to work with my favorite actress in the world, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who's also my wife. And we made a beautiful piece of work together called Gentlemen in Moscow. And it was, it was, oh God, it was like everything I wanted acting to be, that piece of work embodies. Everything I think it, the power of it and the beauty of it. Um, was encapsulated in that experience of working with you, Mary. It was absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of it. Uh, my other two daughters who are not actors are here. Anouk, who's too young to be one yet. Who's uh, a, an amazing human being. I don't know what you're going to be, but we'll find out. Jamian, my beautiful daughter, Jamian. I'm not going to be acting with Jamian because Jamian's going to be a, a homicide detective. She is, she is cutting her own path, and we're so proud of you, Jamian, for everything that you're doing and the things that you're going to do with your life. And my little boy, Laurie, down here. Laurie. This is Laurie McGregor. Do you want to say hello to everybody? So, um, with that being said, I had something that, that was going to wrap up this with, and now I've totally forgotten what that might have been. don't remember what I was going to say other than just to thank you all and um, for this great honor it's really it's really I cannot believe that I can't believe it's been my home here for since 2008 Los Angeles but longer than that really because I dreamt of it I dreamt of the movies and I'm so um, I'm so blessed to be in them I don't feel any differently about being in them than I did when I was first starting out I used to sit and watch when I was a child on a Sunday or Saturday afternoon with my chin propped up on my elbows and I hunger for old Hollywood movies of the 40s and the 30s and British movies, Ealing comedies, just anything. All these, I wanted movies in my life more than I wanted kids shows or anything like that from a really young age. And I'm just so happy to be part of the world. I'm happy to be a creative person, happy to be an artist. And, and, I, and, I, and I love it very much, and I, I love you all very much too. Okay. Brother Anakin! 